welcome to another Thursday's Thought. Um, as always, I do pray you find yourself, uh, whoever watches this, that you are um, blessed beyond measure and that you find yourself focusing on God's immeasurable abundance and grace, love, and mercy in your life. Um, if we do focus on the good, the bad doesn't seem that bad because we know how it all ends. Anyway, I have to try to do this real quick. Got to walk in, but still got to go to work. Besides the point. Um, as you saw in the uh, the intro video, that little uh, little doggy was a little wild, and he was actually barking. Mm, he was barking at a, a Santa Claus uh, picture on a uh, like a little decoration. I didn't have it on video, so I found that one, but uh, the other night I was walking him, and everybody's got their Christmas decorations out, and they had a big, uh, one of those big blow-up Santas that actually moves. This little sucker was a little crazy. This Santa was probably like six or seven feet tall. I mean, it was big, and um, Buck wanted after it, and then <laughs> finally, once we got closer, he realized it wasn't real. And then he just wanted to pee on it. I didn't let him, so don't worry if anybody has dog pee on their decorations, it's not Buck. Um, but it made me think, I was like, Buck, you're going all this energy and everything like over something that's not even real. Um, I was just thinking about how much we do that in our life. Um, there you go, buddy. You'll probably take that one. Okay. Um, but... What we focus on, the things of this life, it's real here, yes, I understand that, but in the big scheme of things, this is just, it's really nothing. Here one moment, gone the next week, try to get, you know, I know we need money to live and we need to use our money wisely, um, but it's not, it really doesn't matter because it's here one moment, gone the next, just like our lives in general. So fame, all of those kind of things really don't matter. You may get into history, but, but then as many of you probably know, that can be added to or deleted or changed to. So just want to take a quick moment as this is just a thought, especially in the Christmas season, what really matters? Ever since my accident and even um, the psychologists and all those people told me that when you come to a, a near near death experience or things like that, you realize time. You focus on time. And maybe sometimes I'm a little too focused on time and I need to learn how to be patient. I'm working on it. But um, you see what really matters. And really that is all that matters. That's all we have right now on this side of eternity. And that sets us up for what will be on the next side of eternity? Um, I make fun of some, I make fun of you know a few people. I'm like, look, man, you're gonna be homeless in heaven. You're not doing it. But you know, then you know, I'm thinking, oh, you're on the streets of gold, and you know, it won't be any rain. It'll be perfect weather. But we really need to store up our riches in heaven, and that's not. It's what we're, we're what we're doing for Christ. Um, and I just encourage you, even especially during this Christmas season, what are we really focused on? What really matters is that God loved us so much he gave his son. He came out as a babe in a manger, all of that. Um, but past that, even past this Christmas season, what are you truly focused on? Is it for things of this world or is it things for your eternal life? Hopefully it be with our Heavenly Father. So love you guys. I know it's quick, it's short. I'm going to late my fault. I'll take all of the responsibility on this. Uh, Buck didn't wake me up as early as I should have got up this morning. So, But it's my fault. I should have set the alarm. Just want to read a few scriptures for you guys. And if I didn't uh, give you the title of this, it was, Is It Even Real? You know, and that was with Buck and even this little dog in the front video. Uh, you know, barking at things that really aren't real. We're barking at things and we're stressed over things that really don't matter and that aren't really real. A dollar bill, what is it? 
It's a piece of paper with some ink on it. With a dead guy's picture. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, do they even, I don't even know if they make newspapers anymore, but I'm going to find the obituary section, cut out those, and see if I can pay with those. Anyway, that's just how my brain works. Uh, so, Luke 12, 16 through 21. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundance harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place for to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build new ones. And I will store my supply, my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take like Take life easy, be, take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded of you, and whom will get all you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be for whoever stores up for themselves, but is not rich towards God. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Second Peter, but... I may have missed the two. Peter um, 1, 24 through 25, or 2 Peter, I'm not sure. Um, For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like a flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And his word is the good news that was preached to you. Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Do not lay up for you, for yourselves, riches on earth, where moth, rust, and moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up your, for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, where neither thief will break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Two more, Romans 5.8. And this is the things that really matter. Um, but God showed, shows his love for us that even while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. John 15, 13. No greater love, no greater love has one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friend. And that's just speaking of sacrifice. You know, um, God sacrificed his only begotten son, Jesus, and Jesus sacrificed himself. He didn't have to do it. You know, there was no demand on him. He said, not my will. But he submitted to God's will and said, okay, I, I will do this. Um, so my encouragement to you would be just focus on what really matters. The things of this earth, here one moment, go on the next. Um, what can you sacrifice it's really not even a sacrifice for God. It's almost like a investment. Uh, what can you lay down for God? Because what you lay down, he will have abundant for you on the other side. Love you guys. Use your time wisely. Think about this just for a quick second. Um, hopefully it does something for you. But let me see if I can call my buddy because he has to say goodbye. Love you guys. Y'all are amazing. Keep me a buck in your prayers and my family. You know, I'm getting married sometime soon. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. And we will. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We will see you again next week on another Thursday's Talk.